we're going to be in very, very serious problems. We are already in very serious problems. And unless we address it and arrest the incessant flow of plastics into our environment, we're going to self-destruct. Protect the Environment Trust is a non-governmental organization designed primarily to recover all plastics. When we collect the plastic, we in turn also have to separate them by color and type. There are several types of plastic. So we separate those by types and colors, and then we shred them in a machine, uh, which can churn out approximately 2,000 pounds per hour of plastic. The shredded material is then packed and shipped overseas. It is now entering our food chain. This, this, the marine life is, is being impacted at a very, very serious rate. Not only the, the, the marine life, but the birds. Uh, it is estimated that every year a million sea mammals and seabirds, like the albatross or the seagull, die from ingesting plastic. People are still burning plastic in Jamaica along with their garbage is almost a ritual. Every household has a little fire heap at the back or a drum. It is very dangerous. The toxic fumes from plastic is perhaps the most poisonous of all. It's an oil-based product, so you can imagine the impact. When, when Riverton City burns, all that smoke from, from Riverton, which is the biggest dump that we have here, goes right across the city. There's cases where Immediately after the fire, there's so many people who are going to the doctor and the hospital because they have some respiratory problem or, and it's all caused from that burning of non-biodegradable waste such as rubber tires and so on and so forth. So we're having a very serious problem in Jamaica when it comes to solid waste and plastic is the main culprit. Wow.